So about a week ago, somebody commented on one of my videos saying, how do you find these big winners? It was on one of my Friday videos. So every single Friday I do a series. We're on week 12 at the moment. And the series is called Facebook Ads Friday. So every week I'll show you two winners, um, two winning very successful Facebook ads. These will be Facebook ads that are selling drop shipping products. They'll have millions of views, thousands of comments, thousands of positive comments. So there'll be image photo comments of people who have received the product and they've posted a picture with their dog, with their kid, whatever it may be. Basically really successful Facebook ads selling drop shipping products. And in my mind, the closest thing you can get to a guaranteed winning product. So somebody wanted to know how to find it because it's that whole kind of famous saying of if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. But if you show him how to find winning products, he'll find winning products for the rest of his life. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to teach you how to find these as close as possible guaranteed winning products. The products I'm going to show you how to find the criteria, the validation I'm going to show you is all based on finding products that have 1K per day potential. I'll put on screen now a new store which I started earlier this year, um, earlier this month, sorry. So you can see that I have done this myself and have done it repeatedly. If you've watched some videos on my channel, you'll know that. When you have a product which is already getting that traction, um, if you couple that with the right Facebook ad strategy or with any any kind of ad strategy really, um, then you can scale things up pretty quickly. That truly is one of the beauties of dropshipping is that as long as you've got the funds to do it and you get that initial traction, then you can scale things pretty quickly. So in this video, I'm going to show you a glimpse into what that product research process looks like um, and also how to sift through every single product and pick those sorts of things that you're looking for to make sure that the next products you find and invest yourself into has the highest chance possible of being successful for you. With that being said, the first thing we need to talk about is the number one thing is validation. So I like to use a metaphor of if you are selling a product and taking that product onto Dragon's Den or Shark's Tank if you're here in the US, then and you're trying to get people to invest in your business that's selling this particular product, they would want to see evidence that the product has potential and that it has potential to sell. So you are looking for those things yourself before you pick a product. So for example, one of those things being in the dropshipping space could be, is there somebody else advertising this product and doing very well with it? So is there thousands of comments, millions of views because ads don't get that sort of traction and that viewership unless somebody's spending a lot of money on them and nobody spends a lot of money on anything unless it's gonna return them something. Now you might be thinking, yeah, but if there's somebody else selling the same products that has millions of views, won't it be saturated? This is where you can use certain tools, which I'm going to show you in this video to find out where that product is being advertised. I'm still a big believer of the saturation doesn't really exist. If you can do something better than the next person, then I I'm a big believer that anybody can be successful. Look at the most competitive industries in the world. There is always opportunity for some and for a new kid on the block to come in and do something differently and better. And dropshipping e-commerce is no different. If you do things better than the next person, you're going to be the business that people choose to buy from over somebody else. So number one thing is validation. Look for that undeniable evidence that the product is selling well. And so let's take a look at the first tool that I want to show you. It's called My Ad Finder. It's a Chrome extension and the best thing about it is it's 100% free. So if you are on a budget, start on your dropshipping business, this is a must have tool for your product research. There are some really great product research tools, software services, whatever you want to call them that will charge you 20, 30, 50, even $200 a month in some instances. They're not necessary. This tool will pretty much do the job for you. If you're on a budget, um, then it's all you need. You don't have to spend a lot of money on these um, expensive services. Okay, so the way it works is you do need a Facebook profile. If you haven't got one, make sure you get one. Go out there, find some e-commerce dropshipping businesses and like them so Facebook knows what kind of content um, what kind of ads I should say actually to show you. And then as we can see, if I draw your attention, I'll make the screen a bit bigger. If we go to the top right hand corner and click on it, um, we can set it to off so you'll just see a normal Facebook newsfeed. But if you set it to on, then it will filter out any posts from friends and family, whoever's on um, your Facebook and will show you just Facebook ads. And all you need to do is just scroll through. So this is the first one. And essentially what we're looking for is ads. Ads a bit like this, really a thousand comments. So that's a pretty decent amount of traction. Posts don't get this level of traction unless it's from a famous influencer or somebody's paying a lot of money to run this as an ad. And so from here, basically what I'll do is I'll just keep scrolling through until I see something that looks like a dropshipping product exactly like this, basically. 470 likes, 300 comments. That's not a huge amount of traction. However, I'm just gonna open up the comments and see what people say. 
so by default you'll be able to see the most relevant comments so we can see carol just ordered two for christmas presents um wow that's awesome and amazing i have one wasn't that impressed to be fair i have one it's so good um, I got one I've just ordered a week ago. So as we can see, this is the kind of validation we're looking for. People are buying this product. So this potentially could be a winning product for you to shortlist and consider um, for your next store. Let's see if we can find a better example though. Let's keep scrolling down. And um, we have a pet niche, which is brilliant. So this looks perfect. Over a thousand shares, two and a half thousand comments and 20,000 reactions. This will have over a million views. Um, looking for a black whatever that is i'm not sure what that is um let's open these up though and see what other people are saying about so this is what i was mentioning in the introduction people love to post pictures of their dog um i will say i'm disappointed because it gives the appearance that's a sweatshirt but it's not i'd love to have got my sweatshirt in the mail it takes a long time to get them ordered a while ago so these guys aren't doing a great job with that order fulfillment i bought one for my daughter i love this you are missing let's open these up not great quality i would love one i bought one absolutely love it so as we can see again there's people definitely undeniable that people somebody's even posted a picture with theirs um, in their car so it's undeniable that people are actually buying this what you do have to be careful though with is Facebook will show you the most relevant. So this was from 11 weeks ago. Um, if we go to newest, and again, just open these up, we can see from 11 hours ago, five days, nine weeks, one day, one day, one day, nine weeks. So I think it does this because somebody recently has responded, so it has, so two days ago. So we'll ignore that, 12 weeks, three days, three days. So there are some really recent comments. So that would be a good indicator that it's current and working today. So again, if you are looking for a business to get into, this could be a product that you shortlist. So this is why I love this tool so much is because in the space of what, a couple of minutes, we've already found two potential winners. I could keep scrolling down and show you more and more great Facebook ads like this product here. However, I've featured this on my channel before. This is probably the closest thing you could get to a guaranteed winning products in the UK now because it's just the perfect time of year for this sort of thing. And again, just look at the social proof of people posting pictures of their dogs wearing this product so again in the space of a couple of minutes we've found three really great products the other great thing about this tool as well um, is if you hit this love heart it will save them and then if you actually go into the my ad finder kind of dashboard or so um, then on the left hand side you can click on favorite ads and it will show you all of the ads that you've favorited essentially so if you forget about any of them um, it keeps them all in one place so if you need more product ideas then you can come back here and kind of refresh your memory um, or if you need new products to test whatever it may be so all in all just a fantastic tool and even if you've got the money to use other softwares and services i definitely recommend having this the next tool i want to show you is one i've mentioned before so i'm not going to spend too much time on dropper spy um, however it is a great tool i pay for this myself i'm not affiliated i haven't got a link for you to go up and sign in so i'm not just saying this because they're paying me to or i earn money from it it is genuinely a tool that i use you can see i've got my own filters set up here um, basically then to take you through them I go for a minimum of 250 comments a CTA that indicates there is something to buy and it's not just about information the econ platform is linking to a Shopify or WooCommerce store um, these will typically be stores that we can then use other tools um, like Koala Inspector to find out what their best selling products are that sort of thing English language of course um, 500 likes minimum and 200 shares minimum this will be my starting point if you wanted to you could go in and obviously bump up and increase this depending on the level of validation that you're looking for the other great thing about Dropper Spot is in your filters section this is something I actually learned in the last 12 months I've been using drop spy for a while and I've only recently just learned this in the top up here you can put keywords so if you have a really successful dog store and you're looking for a new product to add to your range put a keyword of dog in and it's going to show you it pretty it does a pretty good job to be fair filtering them out um, it's just going to show you products based in and around um, dog related niche ones so again the process would be the same as with my ad finder we'll just scroll through looking for something of significant um, level of engagement so we have harness buddy here i'm just going to go ahead and click the details button and then show you what other information we can find out about it the advantage to drops by then is it gives you a whole lot of other information about the ad so you can see the post creation date was september 26th um, and the last scene was monday december 12th so you can obviously come 
compare that to the date that you see it and if it's recent then you know it's current and working you can also see when it was first created too so if it's created three five six ten months ago and they're still running it today you can see kind of what period of the year it works and doesn't work the other great thing about drop spy is it shows you the country breakdown so we can see 100 percent in the united states so if you're worried about a product being saturated because this will have millions of views with the amount of engagements that it has it doesn't mean that it's saturated it might mean that it's quite competitive in the us but as we can see they're not advertising in the uk not advertising in australia or any other country other than the US. So if you wanted to take this and sell it in a different country, you've got a proven winner here that you can just take to a different country and start selling right away. Okay, so last but certainly not least, one of the most important things um, is profitability. So if you can't make a product work, make it cost effective, there's no point starting with it in the first place. So to give you some ballpark numbers, just make sure that you can buy the product for at least $20, if not more, um, than what you can sell it for. So basically, if a product costs you $10 delivered to someone, you need to be able to retail and sell that for a minimum of $30. Just to prove this to you, if we take a look at these um, uh, these few ad sets that I've got running at the moment, we can see, so 356 purchases altogether, half a million people with an average cost per result of $28. If I refresh this so you can see it's legit, um, with an average of $28. Now remember, Facebook only records, it depends on your audience obviously but in this instance only about 60 percent of actual purchases so this per purchase is more like sort of 16 17 dollars maybe a little bit lower so just make sure it's crucially important that you can sell your products for a minimum of 20 dollars on top of what you buy it for on top of profitability there's loads and loads of other pieces of criteria so a tool that i created for people that i work with is this product research checklist and what it allows people to do is basically plug any product into it and then just go through and answer the questions and it will go green yellow or red depending on whether it's a good or bad point about the product and it will really helps people quickly identify those good products versus those bad products if you want more information about this tool and to get your hands on this tool check out my free training it's the first link in the top of the youtube video description so click that it's an awesome training it's 100 percent free so make sure you go and check that out after you finish watching this video and so with that being said i'm going to wrap the video up actually i've covered everything i wanted to i really hope i've given you an insight into what the product research process looks like for me more importantly i hope it helps you guys out and find your next winner as well all the best guys and i'll see you in the next one